Hello and welcome everybody to uh, the European League of Football channel. My name is Patrick Rizzini. I'm the commissioner of the league and I'm really glad and happy and honored to have some great men in this little conference call for you guys. Obviously, we're going to start with the, with the veteran of the group here in this call and this is my former head coach, uh, Lee, Ro Lee Rowland. Um, he's the offense coordinator for the uh, team from Lee Desert and Lee, welcome to this uh, video conference. And then, uh, obviously, the head coach, uh, my dear friend from uh, Niedersachsen, Shuan Fatah. Hi, Shuan. And then, obviously, the man um, that uh, just uh, received the good news that he's going to be part of the NFL Pathway program, Maximilian. Maximilian, welcome to this call. Uh, obviously, you are the reason why we're actually in this call with you because we want to make sure that our audience across Europe and every European League of Football fan gets to know the guy that potentially gets a chance to play in the NFL. So, Max, uh, please tell us a little bit about your upcomings. What was your first sport you played and how did you end up uh, <clears throat> actually in the best game you can play on this planet, American football? Um, I played yeah, many sports. I started with soccer, made uh, handball then, and uh, light athletics, and and yeah, I came to football when I, while I was in school. I was watching a video about football, and I was caught by my teacher, and he came and told me that he played football, and he also won a Italian bowl. And if I'm interested in, we could go to Innsbruck. They have a football team and we can watch their game and that's what we did then and I really, really liked it. So I decided to leave handball and go to football. Well, that sounds great. And the guy that uh, got a hold of you uh, right from the start when you were a young kid and you're still young, you're 21 years old, right? Yeah. So when did you actually start playing football? I started when I was... 18 or 19. Yeah. So this is really, uh, so you are fairly new to the sport, but then you got to be incredibly talented uh, because the man that is here in this call, Lee Rowland, who's obviously an O-line specialist, uh, must have seen something in you uh, that, that he liked. So Lee, uh, let's get to you. You were the one that got a hold of this young man from the get-go. Was he the the diamond in the rough that you are looking for as a offensive line coach? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously his size was a factor. You know, when you see someone that big walking around you know, with a helmet and pads on, you think, you know, and he hadn't took a snap in anger at that time. And then I watched him running, which I always do with all offensive line. And, you know, is he a plotter or can he run? And it was his mobility, the, the sort of, you know, uh, influence that, I, and I said to him, you know, you got you got to let me, you know, come come practice and and do individuals with him, and that's what we did. You know, we started from day one, stance, stance, and stuff. You know the, you know the drill, and uh, it just progressed on from there. Um, you know, we work, I work him out almost every day, um, and it, it's you know hard work paid off. Now that's that's an awesome story. Now. Um, Shuan, you as the head coach, you worked for, just like Lee was coaching in the NFL Europe, you worked, you were not only coaching in the NFL Europe, but you were also a, a league official with the main focus on player development and finding new talent. Now, when you saw Maximilian the first time, uh, did you think that he has all the intangibles, not only physically, but also mentally, to make it to the pathway program and ultimately to the NFL? I, I think I think biggest biggest part was that we had those Mondays, rookie Mondays, we call them, which is, which is some coming from the background you mentioned that you gotta have a platform for uh, players coming or, or athletes from other sports to be able to have a chance to be seen. Uh, we implemented that in Innsbruck. Uh, that's me and, and Coach Lee, and uh, we said, all right, every every Monday an hour we spend time with kids. He came by. Obviously, his size sticked out. But, you know, for us, we're not thinking NFL at that point. We're thinking, is he going to come back next Monday? <laughs> That's really what it was. Uh, we, yeah. didn't, we, we, we always we get excited, 
but I learned very quickly, don't get too excited in football in, in, in Europe because the best athletes sometimes, they never show up again. So we said, hey, let's wait a week. Then he came the second week uh, uh, on Mondays. And uh, obviously, between me and Lee, his offense and defense is always the fight. Is he going to be a defensive guy or an offensive guy? Uh, I think I lost that. Well, I, I uh, guess. Uh, yeah, I saw he won. He saw. I saw what, what, I, what he saw, and then obviously we just prayed that he's coming back every Monday. And then after a while, we, we let him move into the pro. But we did, we did saw the potential. He's coming from handball. Obviously, that's a rough sport. You've got to be pretty athletic. And, uh, and, and so he had all the intangibles. But obviously, we're, we're too long in the business to get too excited. We always were hoping he's coming back. And if he does, then yes, then, then after a while, you could see his work ethic. Uh, we didn't know him too well at the beginning, but he seemed to be a fairly smart guy. And then it turned out he's a very smart guy. And, uh, and then his work ethic is, is second to none. I mean, obviously, honestly, he works out with Lee every time. And, and, and we're talking about uh, Lee. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's crazy, but he really displayed a work ethic. So what happened now to him, I mean, that's, that's, that's hard work. I mean, you know, God gave him good size and good uh, strength, but it's, it's always the work ethic. And Max has greater work ethic. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Now, uh, Max stands two meter one tall, 141 kilos. Um, so, Max, now obviously you have NFL size. Tell us a little bit about the process that, that led up to uh, you actually getting into the Pathway program. What happened? Who contacted you? And, and, and ultimately, what helped you get there? I think the most important thing was that Lee worked out with me every day. Also in Innsbruck before the season started, when I was new there, he he showed me everything about about football. Uh, he showed me the the basic the steps uh, we made, uh, theoretic stuff like defense, defense fronts, and other other things, so that I was able to play from the first day on. And that's what I. Kept what we kept doing the whole season and also the off season, and yeah, that was probably the most important. And then when Chu and Lee, when they went away, when when they went to Hildesheim to coach there, uh, I was I yeah I was really lucky that they, they took me with them that I had the possibility to follow them, and yeah, because there the even if we we didn't play the season, we we could. Uh, even working out every day, yeah, that's also what we did, and I think that's the yeah the the main reason why I yeah. could go to the basketball. And then, and then, and then, who who contacted you from from the NFL, and how did you get into the into the pathway program? It was um, James Cook. He's uh, he's working for the NFL International in London. And he called me and said um, that they they want to make or that they're gonna make a, a, like the, the past year a international combine, and mm -hmm. that I'm a, a prospect. So it, it wasn't the invitation, but he told me that they are looking for me, and uh, yeah, that I was really happy when I heard that, and um, yeah, kept working. I yeah, and then I think we sent them here the video. Mm -hmm. made and then I got the invitation for the combine. And how did that go? They are. Um, they watched our uh, our video we made with. Uh, he went with me to yeah, to make video about different drills, about steps, about how I move, and he also exactly he knows what they what they want to see, which drills. He has a lot of experience in that uh, that part and. Yeah, so we made this and went well, worked out well, and they invited me then for the combine, which was in Schwäbisch Hall. And we were the only three offensive linemen because because of uh, Corona, they made many combines, not only one. Okay. Um, yeah. That's and how. you were the chosen one then at the end, which uh, is great, and and I think uh, uh, especially. 
uh, Lee and Shuan got to be very proud about uh, your development over the last years. Now, Shuan, um, tell us a little bit about your experience in 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 actually the 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 relationship and how important the relationship between a young player that is a developmental guy, a, a top prospect, and the coaches. Because it seems like you know Maximilian, he followed you guys from Innsbruck at a very young age to Hildesheim for a reason. So in the development of a young player, how important is it that relationship between coach and player? Oh, it's, it's huge. I mean, obviously, uh, Co uh, Coach Lee was uh, instrumental there, Sh uh, showed some real interest in Max. Uh, and uh, obviously, he's a, you need, a, you need as a coach, you need to be, uh, you know, uh, willing to help people to develop in, 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 in their uh, hobby or profession, maybe down the road. And, uh, and I have some good coaches around me. And Lee is one of them. He's really a, a guy that really creates great relationships uh, with his players in, in his position and on offense because he's in charge of offense. Um, obviously, he's a tough one. And it's a tough love, but obviously that's part of it because it is sometimes you got to make people, uh, uh, you got to kind of convince them to do something that's really not natural sometimes, uh, but it's just the, the nature of the beast. That's the techniques they got to do. You got to really work hard on the craft. And uh, uh, first of all, there's, there needs to be trust that you really have all the good intentions as a coach. And I can say uh, we, we normally always had that in, in where, I, where I was because I'm looking for good coaches that have been around and uh, that are really mean well. And um, obviously the success of, of our program uh, is a reflection of it. I mean, Sandro Platzkoma played six, seven years for us in, in, in Innsbruck. Obviously he was with the Giants. So something we're doing is, 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 do, is, is right. Yeah, we, I think you need to create a program, uh, something where the, where the players really can develop, but you have to have a uh, honest interest in the kids in, in some way or fashion. You got to make sure they understand that whatever you do is really in their interest to get to become the best player they can be. And Lee was very Absolutely. instrumental in Maxi's in Maxi's case. I got to really give all credit to Lee. I was really also an a spectator because I'm coaching defense. I just saw Maxi evolving every freaking week. He got better and better and better and really created headaches to us. Uh, but obviously. Uh, Lee was really at the forefront, and and Max is not the only guy. He made to uh, worked and 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 uh, uh, um, molded into a great player. There's a there's a bunch of them, and uh, again, it's sometimes it's tough, and uh, you know at the beginning, you never know if they make it in the pros and can really make some serious money. So it's all about love for the game, and if you ask him to be almost professional in their approach to the game, uh, because we always believe. Don't get ready when the opportunity knocks. You know, be ready. Uh, 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 don't try to be ready when the opportunity knocks. Be ready before. So you got to kind of prepare uh, uh, professionally. Absolutely. And uh, not everybody can do that. Now, uh, it, 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 I think it's fair to say that uh, you two guys, Lee and, and you, Shuan, you got a great track record of developing good young players. So I would think it's fair to say if there are some young players out there, uh, in your area, in Niedersachsen, uh, play the European League of Football, play for Coach Juan, for Coach Lee. They know how to develop players. Now, we cannot close this thing out without asking Maxi, how you refer to him, uh, to find out what his goals and plans are going down, uh, looking ahead. Um, so, Maxi, tell us, what is, what is your plan and what is your personal goal uh, in regards to football? Yeah, the plan would be now to, to become the best player I can be and obviously to make the step to, to the NFL and maybe get into a team. And that would be the main goal. If everything now in Florida at the IMG Academy, um, yeah, <laughs> be the best I can. <laughs> Well, then you got, I mean, you got a great blueprint and a guy like uh, Jacob Johnson, for example, who was a pathway player, then came back, went back over there and actually uh, became an active member of the New England Patriots. And now he, I mean, he played his, his year, first year as a full-time starter and he was a pathway guy. So is that something that uh, you have an eye on too? I would assume. Yeah, <laughs> I would I make it 
step by step, but the goal would obviously be sooner or later the dream for, to be in an NFL roster and to play there also to help a team. But yeah, there it's still a long way to go and I do everything to get there. Well, Maxi, uh, I love uh, you, the way you uh, approach this. Very humble guy. Uh, gentlemen, I thank you for taking the time. Uh, thanks, Shuan. Thank you, Lee. And, and again, congratulations on doing a great job with this young talent. And again, Maxi, all the best to you. You might not actually play for the European League of Football, but if that's the case and you move on to better, better places, uh, we are happy for you. Make sure you stay in, in, in touch. Uh, I would assume uh, the relationship you have with uh, Coach uh, Roland and Coach Shuan uh, is going to make sure that that will be the case. So best of luck to you. We're going to keep following you. And uh, again, uh, thank everybody out there watching and listening. Uh, we see you around next time pretty soon. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.